Today we are going to learn to make Marwadi curry. For that we took one cup of yogurt. This was yogurt which was kind of old, not your fresh yogurt because this becomes a little sour. And you can let it sit outside for five to six hours before you cook it so it, it gets the sour taste even better. To this we are going to add approximately three tablespoons of besan. So yes. In fact, two tablespoons is enough. Yeah, we're going to add two tablespoons of basin, mix this well, and then sieve it so that there are no lumps after you're mixing. So you can increase your basin if you want a little bit of a thicker curry. Marwadi curry is a little uh, more on like the thinner side, so that's why I reduce my quantity of basin. But Two to three tablespoons that sounds right with one cup of curry, one cup of yogurt. All right, so we're going to sieve our curry mix, the yogurt and basin mix, so that there are no lumps. Once we mix the blend, this just makes the process really easy. In India, traditional, you also churn it, but churning takes a little more time so we just want to seed it and add water to your remaining um, yogurt so add approximately two cups of water let's look at a consistency here i think i might need half more cup to just take the remaining of the yogurt mix so that we don't waste anything but this consistency looks awesome so let's just i think since we are going to boil it we probably would need one more cup of water. I can feel it. So I'm going to wash my containers, put one more cup of water to this. And then our consistency of our curry will come out really well. Okay friends, we're going to start making curry. For that, heat your pan. Add approximately one and a half tablespoon of ghee. One to one and a half, whatever if you prefer, if you want it a less uh, greasy, you can reduce your quantity. To that, again, add one teaspoon of mustard seeds. Most important ingredient in curry, not most important, one of the important ingredients is hing powder. So add half teaspoon of hing powder. Add one teaspoon of, so we'll add one teaspoon of methi seeds. And now you can add curry patta and green chilies based on your preference. So I'm going to skip those two steps. I don't want green chili because I like the red um, chili tarka on this. And I don't have curry patta, so I'm going to skip that step because of that. Let the uh, mustard seeds flatter and then we are going to add the yogurt and basin mix to it. Before that, we are going to put one teaspoon of red chili powder as soon as it starts flattering. Okay, now you can see our mustard seeds are popping. I'm going to lower the steam uh, flame here and add one teaspoon of red chili powder followed by my yogurt mix okay with curry it's very very important now we turn on the flame a little higher or on the high side it's very important that you keep stirring it not a single moment that you stop stirring until it comes to a boil so that's the key step in curry because if you stop it, your curry will uh, disorient and it will separate out and we don't want that separation. We want this mix to remain the same way. So while your one hand is stirring, you can add some um, ingredients to it like your salt. So I am going to add 2 teaspoons of salt to it. 
that's how much it looks like it should absorb um, later on I can adjust the salt if I feel like you know it needs more but one and a half to two teaspoons looks right then I'm going to add half teaspoon of turmeric powder and my hands are stirring my other hand is stirring or if you have a helper great so we add turmeric powder and you can add these ingredients to your mix beforehand so that you don't have to multitask here um, and we are going to add half teaspoon of dhania powder and that's it now you keep stirring that's all you need to do with curry and it takes this quantity would take approximately five minutes to boil once it boils you can put it on low medium flame and let it continue to boil but you don't have to stir it after that friends you can see the first boil is coming up so we've been stirring now we reduce our flame and this is perfect timing we can stop stirring and your curry will not separate out so friends it's been 15 minutes and our curry has been boiling on low sim so you can say it's I see it's doing really well i can see some of the ghee floating up and that's kind of a sign that the curry is almost done so we're going to let it sit here for another 15 minutes on low flame okay friends our curry has been boiling for 30 minutes and you can see that the ghee is floating up that is a sign that our curry is ready the last step to the curry is adding methi patta so you can add fresh methi patta or dried i prefer dried so you just sprinkle methi patta on top approximately one tablespoon stir it and your curry is ready to be served some people write, like additional tarka but our curry really doesn't need additional tarka because we can see the ghee floating up so and it smells really awesome